Greetings, dear history enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, the place where we unravel the threads of time. Today, we're unveiling the enchanting history of Christmas. Once upon a time, a tradition was born. A celebration filled with joy, love, and affection, known as Christmas. The story of Christmas begins in Rome. Festivities were held in honor of Saturn, the Roman god of agriculture, which later transformed into a more familiar celebration. Our journey takes us to the 4th century. The church wanted to Christianize this pagan tradition. They chose December 25th to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, marking the first Christmas. So, why December 25th? Some believe it's connected to the winter solstice, a time of rebirth and renewal, symbolizing the birth of Christ. In the medieval times, Christmas was a public festival, filled with feasting, dancing, and singing. Think less silent night and more rowdy party. However, by the 17th century, Puritans frowned upon these clamorous celebrations. In fact, in 1659, Christmas was banned in Boston for its excessive frivolity. But Christmas wouldn't be suppressed for long. By the 19th century, it was making a comeback. Queen Victoria's reign transformed it into a family-centered holiday. Christmas trees became a custom, inspired by Prince Albert's German heritage. The idea of decorating an evergreen quickly spread throughout Britain and America. Gift-giving, once a New Year's practice, was moved to Christmas. The rise of consumer culture in the 19th century cemented this into tradition. Our next stop is the North Pole. The myth of Santa Claus emerged from the Dutch figure, Sinterklaas, inspired by the Christian bishop, St. Nicholas. As Dutch immigrants began to establish communities in the New World, they brought with them the beloved celebration of Sinterklaas, a festive event centered around the legendary figure of St. Nicholas. Coca-Cola played a role too. Their 1930s advertisements popularized the red-suited, jolly Santa Claus we recognize today. Traditional Christmas carols, once banned by the Puritans, experienced a revival. Many of the songs we sing today were written during the Victorian era. Christmas cards also originated from this period. It was a way to keep in touch with distant family and friends, a tradition we continue to honor. During World War II, Christmas became a time of unity and hope. It reminded the world of peace and goodwill in the midst of despair. The post-war period saw a commercial boom. Christmas turned into the biggest annual economic stimulus, with shopping becoming a crucial part of the holiday season. Christmas decorations evolved too. From simple candles and paper chains, to twinkling lights and extravagant ornaments, they brighten our homes and hearts. Christmas movies and TV specials entered the scene. They brought the magic of the holiday into our living rooms and became a defining part of Christmas culture. Fast food took advantage of Christmas too. In Japan, KFC managed to associate Christmas with their fried chicken, a tradition that persists to this day. Despite the commercialization, the essence of Christmas remains. It's a time for giving, love and togetherness, embodying the spirit of goodwill from a Roman festival to a global celebration. The history of Christmas is a fascinating journey. It's a testament to our ability to adapt and evolve traditions while keeping their core values intact. So, as we celebrate Christmas, let's remember its rich and diverse history. From all of us to all of you, Merry Christmas.